<clears throat> Good morning, everyone. I know it's early, but I figured I would knock this out right the fuck now. Something that I feel everyone needs to see. You see, Marty is a cyber bully whom I have been dealing with for a little over five years now. A little bit over five, six years now. And let me tell you something. Let me give you guys some in, some backstory on how all this shit started with him. So, as many of you guys know, or are well aware of, uh, the real Miss Jamie Nicole, who was a fellow YouTuber and very dear friend of mine, um, she passed away last year. Um, the cause of death is still very much unclear. And the reason why I say it's very much unclear is because I have certain people telling me that it was COVID and then other people stating that it was murder. So therefore, for me, this, you know, her cause of death is unclear. Now, after her death, there were people spreading rumors about her death. You know, stating that Marty had something to do with it and this and the other. And I, you know, accused Marty of her death. Because I was being shown all this evidence in all these videos that she had killed her, that he had killed her. When I found out they were false videos and that the evidence was fabricated to frame him, I went to him out of my own free will. And apologized to him. Told him I was sorry for what I had done. And that I apologized. Okay. He sat right there in front of myself. And. Uh, Crypt K at the time. Who you guys know I'm very good friends with. Shout out to Crypt K. He sat right there in front of Crypt K. And our friend Jasmine and said that he forgave me. Now, he turned around that next day and started to attack me. Which is pretty fucked up. You know, it really is fucked up for him to do that. But these attacks continued on and off. But here, towards the end of last year, they have gotten very, very bad. And I mean, so bad to the point to where I at one point did attempt to kill myself. And two of my best friends, uh, Brittany and Ted, saved my life. They kept me from killing myself. Um, Marty had... Sent rope to my house, sampled rope to my house at one point, and told me to kill myself on a live stream with my friend Crypt K right there. And if you guys would like to know the title of the video, it's called Serious Talk with Crypt K. You guys can go on my channel and look back at it. Now, Marty is a very evil person. I have tried walking away from him. I have tried blocking him on all social media, on all platforms. I have gone to the police. The police will not do anything because they do not see it as a civil matter. Or they don't see it as a, um, as a federal matter. They see it as civil. Which means, unless there are death threats involved, they will not do anything. Now, Marty, if you really think about it, has threatened my life. He has told, he's threatened my life by telling me to kill myself. That is a death threat. 
in every context of the word, that is a death threat. That is telling me to do bodily harm to myself. Now, everybody wants to know, why is Marty so obsessed with me? Well, I'll explain that to you. Around April of last year, um, this guy named Juggalo John, who I no longer speak to, uh, for very good reason, um, said that he wanted to fight me. So I went down to the community center and waited for him. He never showed up. So me and my now uh, me and my ex Heather, we got back in my mom's car, went to come back. Marty sat right there and told me that he had feelings for me on a live stream, on Jamie's live stream because we were hanging out with Jamie at the time. It was me, Heather, Jamie, uh, Sean Snipes, Music Biz Marty, and a couple others. But he sat right there and told me that he had feelings for me, that he was gay for me. And I wish to God I could find the stream, but I can't. Like, I'll have to see if I can find it and repost it. But during that stream, I literally leaned out the window and puked. And I told Marty, no, I'm not gay. Marty is obsessed with me because he has feelings for me. And he cannot handle rejection. Um, Marty is so obsessed with me that these, fair warning, if you guys get sick very easily, I would suggest either turning the sound off or walking away from the stream right now. Because this is, what you're about to hear is very disturbing. And these were taken directly from his channel. They were dissected from... Like, a, a few of his live streams. So, fair warning, if you do get sick very easily, I suggest either clicking away from this video, or, you know, turn at least turning off your sound. Now, the first video I'm going to play you is called, Proof That Marty Is A Sick Weirdo Who Needs Help. And shout out to Manic Monday for sending me these. I want that jizz covered steering wheel. I'd do anything for that jizz covered steering wheel. Now, if you did not catch that, I will replay it for you. I want that jizz covered steering wheel. I'd do anything for that jizz covered steering wheel. Now, video number two is more is titled more proof the jdl and the adl uh have agreed to make cyrax a priority of theirs i see you and this is like a rogue operation this is like black ops adl jdl stuff like they're gonna send pizzas to his house Maybe a prostitute or two. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, a Mossad tactic is often put in like free stuff on Craigslist and uh, just uh, having people go there to pick up stuff. Like that's, you know, I just pulled a Tony and totally betrayed the confidence of the organization. And then this final one right here is called Even More Proof. He's talking about stealing from him. The only significant amount of money I've made from Cyrex was, well, uh, to date, I think it's about 1400 off 
official Cyrac merch. Um, about, I think last time I checked, it was about four hundred and twenty-five dollars in the uh, Shadowborn album. Um, nothing really too significant. Um, I ended up getting a lot of views on Pornhub and, and uh, X Hamster, uh, all that shit. Uh, but it, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. Now do you see how sick and twisted this man really is? And like I said, I don't do it out of hatred for gays because my older brother was gay. But I do that to get under his skin. And Tonic, there you go. But this is going out to any YouTuber that wishes to help bring him down. Oh, John. Yo. Yo, buddy. What up, man? Not much. Tonic wants to join you in your talk. Yeah, I know. Dude, I sent him the link. I'm waiting for him to get on. All right, cool. So what the fuck you been up to, man? Oh, uh, not much. Just work. Right. <laughs> dude, same here. I'm literally like in the process of these next 18 weeks and shit, getting everything set up, getting stuff set up downstairs so we can move all this shit out. So that when my girl gets the whole setup and shit ready, we can just fucking haul it in here and set it up. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be beautiful with all them boxes laying around in trash everywhere. I'll tell you that much. It's the journey. Eh, it works. But yo, Tonic, there's the link, man. Get your ass on, dude. Oh, man, so how's work been for you, dude? Oh, so far, so good. <laughs> Staying warm. Another four, three and a half hours, I'm done. <laughs> I'm, I know you're ready for that time of the year. Yeah, you know, go home, relax. Get the fuck out of the cold. <laughs> yeah. Because, dude, today I literally spent like half the fucking day in the cold fucking shoveling snow, busting my ass on fucking ice. <laughs> White gold, bro. White gold. Yeah, you think? <laughs> it fucking sucks, dude. But, yo, Tonic, where you at, man? Ha! I, this would not surprise me. This What Spanky said would not surprise me at all. He's an Amazon distributor. <laughs> that would not surprise me at all, dude. Not even going to lie. That would not surprise me that he does that. I mean, good God. I mean, y'all just heard it for yourselves. He literally, like, said some of the grossest shit that even you guys just heard. Like, it was, it's right there. Like, so that right there would not surprise me at all. That would not, like, dude. What gets me is he's a grown ass adult. Wait, dude, I'm 30 years old. I don't even do that shit. Like, come on, dude. That's just that's just cringe. All right, bro. So if, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to to, to chill with Tonic and his peeps. But I yeah, just want to know everything. Have yeah, a good day, bro. Yeah. yeah, be safe, man.
What did Marty do now? Anthony, don't you mean what hasn't he done? But yo, Tony, if you want to oh, man, get your ass on. If you need the link, bro, it's right here. I mean, for real, though, man. This is not to anybody out there that, you know, doesn't know the story about Marty. Like I said, Marty is a very, very evil person. He's very evil. He has stolen from me. As you guys can tell, he's very sick and twisted and deranged. He's not a good person. He has blackmailed my girlfriend blatantly in front of people on his channel. He has blatant, he's blatantly done this shit on his channel. Um, he's blackmailed me, my girlfriend, um, threatened to go after her job. Um, has posted videos of me on Pornhub, X videos, uh, apparently X hamster, which I didn't find any on there. But, uh, He's gone after my older brother who, who has passed away. Um, he made a fake obituary mocking his death. He made a video on Pornhub, or no, was, no, it was on X videos of my older brother, uh, my older brother's face photoshop up onto this shit. Like, that's how evil Marty is. This is the kind of stuff that he does. And he also goes after people with special needs. He's going after myself, because as you guys, as may or may not know, I do have ADHD. I do have ADHD. Um, you know, I am short for my size. I'm only five foot three, And I actually currently weigh 150 pounds. Um, when he does things to try to get what he wants, um, he bullies people. He will sit there and attack someone. He will hack someone if he has to. He has this friend of his named Tyler and why who hacked into my bank account, stole my credit card information, and proceeded to, to pretend to be me. And sent rope to my house pretending to be me. That's how sick and twisted and deranged music this money is. And it's not okay. He needs to be stopped. He needs to be taken care of. He needs to be brought down. He's, honestly, his channel needs to be shut down. And he needs to not be on the internet. He needs to be in a place where he can get the proper mental health. That he needs because Marty is not okay. Marty is very sick. He's very deranged. He's very, very evil. And what he does is not okay. And I can honestly say, I would not wish this on my worst enemy. The stuff that he's done to me, I would not wish that on my worst enemy. At all. I would not wish what he's done to myself and to others on anyone. I would not wish this kind of harassment and bullying on anyone because no one deserves that. Not myself. Not anyone, especially not my girlfriend who works very, very hard for me and her to be able to have a future. And especially for somebody like her who was helping me to be able to build opportunities for myself for my future, for a future with her. No one deserves that.
No, I didn't block Tarnik. Dude, he's not blocked. Yo, shout out to Hunger Jack, man. Oh, uh, Bochak, I don't think he's blocked. Dude. I truly don't think he's blocked. But I will go in and I will double check and see. But uh, like I said, man, Hardy is a very sick and twisted individual. Well, honestly, he's mental health. Oh. Wait, how are you blocked? That's weird. Because I don't have you blocked. And also, Marty has also gone after somebody else who I'm very close to as well. Many of you may remember this person from the Bloodshot Records era. Um... Many of you guys may remember Boogeyman and the Clown, who was Candle before all that shit started. Marty has even gone after him and poked fun at a friend of their family who was like an older brother to him, who was a police officer who lost his life in the line of duty. Paul's friend lost his life in the line of duty, and Marty proceeded to attack that person and poke fun at him. And that's not okay. That's something you just don't do. There are certain lines you don't cross, and Marty has proceeded to cross those lines, and that's that's just that's not okay. It's really not an okay thing to be doing. So to Boogeyman the Clown, rest in peace to your friend 100% and my condolences do go out to you and your friend's family 100%. And I am truly sorry for your loss. But this is how sick and twisted and evil Marty is. This is how vile he is. So to anyone out there that sees this, make sure you report the living crap out of him and get him taken down. On a side note, I do have a huge announcement. Um, and this is for the thousands of subscriber mark. Um, if you guys can help me get to a thousand dollars, or a thousand subs, hey babe, what's up? I'm doing good. But uh, to anybody that, to anyone out there that wants to do this, you can or you can do it or not do it. Either way. Uh, but if you guys can help me get to a thousand subs, once we hit a thousand subs, once we hit that mark, okay, then. But once we hit a thousand marks, once we hit a thousand sub mark, I am going to randomly pick a winner of the thousand subscriber mark. The winner. Is going to get a free copy of this. All you have to do to enter is put in your name in the comments. Make sure you get those subs out there, and so the person that I choose will get a copy of this.
Happy Valentine's Day, babe. I love you. And babe, I will talk to you later on today. You need to get some sleep, Missy. You're working too hard. And like I said, I will be selecting a random winner for this album. The winner will actually get a signed copy of this album for free. You will not have to pay for it. I will pay for everything myself. But we have to hit that thousand mark. We have to hit that thousand subscriber mark. Once we hit that, I will be selecting a random winner in the comments. So start commenting on the videos and I'll go over them. And then whenever, you know, whenever we hit that thousand sub mark, the lucky winner is going to get a free copy of this. And not only that, but you will get a free wallpaper consistent of my next upcoming album cover. So, if you guys want to get this for free, let's hit that thousand mark. And then I will be selecting a lucky winner. So, let's hit that thousand mark, man. Let's get it. Oh, that was my bad. My arm is fucking thing. All right, let's see. Hang on, let's see if Tonic is. Blocked. Hold on. Yeah, Tonic's not blocked from what I'm seeing. Oh, wait, yeah, he is right there. Thank you, nut. And I also have um have not done one for amazing girlfriend, Dan, love you, babe. Can't wait to spend time with you later today. That's gonna be awesome. All right, somebody let Tonic know that he is no longer blocked. I don't know how he got on block, but he is not blocked anymore. So, Tonic, get your ass up here, boy. And yo, Rumor, if you want to hop on, you can. I don't mind shit. But uh, like I said, uh, you know, Marty is a very evil person. He really is. I said, anybody out there watching this, nobody deserves the shit that, you know, Marty does. Nobody deserves that. Yo, I didn't see one thing. I looked in the list and I didn't see you in the block list. Because if you were blocked, you wouldn't 
be able to talk. I looked for you as well. I didn't see you in there. So, I don't know. I'll have to get it on, but I will double check. All right, Tonic, what I'll do is I'll end this stream and I'll come over to yours, all right? So, Tonic, I'm going to end this stream right here. I'm going to come over to yours. But uh, I hope you guys do know the... Um, I do hope that you guys know the real story about the way Marty... As a matter of fact, he tried to come over to my show and I blocked his ass. And he ain't getting on. Fuck that dude. But uh, like I said, I hope that everybody knows now just how evil Marty is and the sh shit that he's done. But as I said, though, there's one final thing. Um, if you guys want a free copy of this, I will be giving out one free copy of this signed along with a free album cover piece for my next album. If you guys want this, let's hit that thousand mark, man. Y'all know you want a free copy of that. Y'all know you want a copy of free. And not only that, not only will I be doing this and the album cover. Not only will I be doing that plus the album cover, but you guys will also get a free discount code for up to, I think it's like 10% off of my sponsor at Rogue Energy. Shout out to Rogue Energy. So you'll be getting three things. You'll be getting this for free. You'll be getting a, and by the way, this will be signed. It'll be a signed copy of this. Uh, a free wallpaper that is going to be my next album cover. You're going to get an early look at that, and you're going to get a free 10% discount code for Rogue Energy. So if you guys want that shit, and you want this for free as well as that other cool stuff, let's hit that thousand mark, guys. Let's get it. I know y'all can do it. Let's get it. Peace.